And who's up for the day all month long and every Wednesday? That's right, Mr. Shaquille Cooper. You know, he popped the regional director since last time we saw him. He's doing almost one every week and one every other week, regional directors. Wow. Amazing. Amazing young man. I love his teaching. You know, like I said, he came here July 9th of two, uh, 2002, came all the way from Trinidad because he wanted a better life for him. And hopefully when he had a child that he wants a better life for them as well. And he's done that. He worked at Applebee's, got tired at Applebee's. So wait a minute, you mean to tell me that I could talk for a living room and flip burgers and ride, you know, hover over a hot stove all day? I'm in. Without further ado, the one and only Wolfpack Wisdom for Wednesdays, the great Mr. Skill Cooper. How you doing? Can you hear me? Good, good, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. It feels to be feels great to be back. Um, I'm really excited to do this call. Um, it's always a great time, you know. And I was just thinking, you know, what should I talk about? You know, and I always want to talk about things that make sense, you know. Real quick story for the people in the call who don't know who I am. My name is Shaquille Cooper. I'm currently 28 years old. I think next week makes it eight in seven days. We'll make it eight years since I've been involved in network marketing. I've never imagined myself doing anything for eight years. I barely went to college for one, you know? So the fact that I've been involved in business since I was 20 years old, I'll be 29 in March. And the fact that I've done something my whole entire twenties without giving up and quitting to me, that's a really big deal because I don't know too many people that started something at 20 years old and they're still doing it today. So I'm really excited about the opportunity, but more importantly, I'm excited about everything that I've learned throughout being involved in this industry. Not only did it help me in business, it also helped me in life. And everything that I tried to teach you guys, you know, it's just things that I learned, you know, things that I learned and things that really, really matters. It might sound simple, but what I tell people all the time is that the simple things are the things that will change your life. It's the daily habits, it's the things that you study, it's the things that you read, the things that you listen to that will be the biggest impact in your life. And today I don't have a video just for the sake of time. So I just kind of want to go straight into the information. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to share my screen and I'm just going to go straight to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is to build any successful business requires an understanding of the number of the basic principles followed up with commitment and good business practices. Let me repeat that again. To build any successful business, it requires an understanding of a number of basic principles. No matter what business you're involved in, there's always going to be a number of basic principles followed up with commitment and good business practices. Meaning that if you're not building your business on a concrete foundation, as time goes on, your foundation will become crippled. And the reason why I tell people build your business on a solid concrete foundation, because it kind of goes back to the story of the three little pigs. Whoever heard of the three little pigs? I haven't heard this story in forever, right? But we can, we can honestly remember they described the three little pigs, one built their home on straws. And when the big bad wolf came around, what happened? It blew away. Another one, Built that home with what? Sticks. And when the storm came and the big bad wolf came, what happened? It blew away. But what happened to the one that built that home with bricks and concrete? They was able to withdraw whatever animals out front, whatever storm comes their way. And to me, that the same way I wanted to build my business. I wanted to build a solid foundation by practicing good business practice. And I want to let everyone know that anyone can succeed in network marketing. For the people on the call that don't feel as though they can succeed in network marketing, I can honestly tell you that this is probably one of the easiest things I've ever done in my life. And when I say easy, I mean, we just talk to people. As I can tell you before, I worked at Applebee's. So I've dealt with all kinds of negative brown apples that you can ever think about so when i seen acn and it was like man the hardest thing you'll deal from is family and friends and people telling you you know it won't work or you won't be successful and all of these different things so when i heard that i said to myself man i worked at applebee's 
I've heard it all, I've seen it all, and it's nothing that nobody can tell me to talk me out of what I'm trying to do. So the two most common questions are, can I do it? And am I the right type of person? See, when I got involved in the business, I said to myself, I can do it. And the reason why, because I'm a hustler. I know for a fact that my work ethic always get me where I need to go because I'm willing to put in the work. See, most people, they don't feel as though they can do it because they don't believe that they can actually do the work. And with anything, there's going to be some work involved. And the second question is, am I the right type of person? Do you understand that you wouldn't even be shown the business if you wasn't the right type of person? Do you understand that not everybody get a chance to see network marketing? Do you understand that as the world is changing and things is changing in the world, that our business is actually growing and doing better because now people are more open to opportunities? See, before two years ago, people were stuck in the, the one job, the one track minded, but we can agree now that when you go on social media, people got all these different types of streams of income. I'm like, man, how you go from no stream of income to seven streams of income over the pandemic? And the reason why, because people mindsets have opened up to opportunities. So one of the reasons today why my business is having so much success is because the mindset of the masses has changed. And if you don't have a team put together right now in order to go at these people and get these people signed up, what are you doing? See, the way my business is growing now is I've never seen so many business partners come in consistently every single day. And the, the only difference between now and a few years ago was the mindset. People are open to making money. So you need to go out there and share the opportunity with people, build a team of people that's going to be out there showing the plan, signing up new business partners and helping them sign up new customers. Network marketing provides a great level playing field. No matter if you're a college dropout, no matter if you have a great government job or whatever the case would be, anyone can be successful in Apple. And I said Applebee's, I came from Applebee's. So that just shows you right there that you don't gotta be the smartest person to do this business. But what I just want you to get in your head that you can do it. Just really believe that you can do it because that's the first step to becoming successful at anything that you will do. And many will fail, but at the same time, many succeed in a big way. You always hear the story about, oh man, all the, only a little bit of people make it at the top. We can agree with every industry that's only a handful that makes it at the top. And I believe that I'm a part of that handful. Why would you not want to believe that you can be the person to win in a big way? Because I can honestly tell you that if you think that you're, you can't win, you're not going to win. But if you really believe in yourself that you can win, then you will win because I'm the person where I always believe in speaking positivity. And that's the first step. A lot of people think, man, what are you talking about? Listen, I watch my mom says I'm broke. I don't have no money since I was born. Even if she had money, she still says it. And still to this day, she says it. And I tell her all the time, the reason why you, you say you're broke and you don't have no money is because. You say it every single day. Even if you're not broke, you still speak it every single day. So guess what you have? That feeling. And that's the first step. If you don't feel in your heart that you can be successful, you'll never be successful no matter how positive you speak. So you can speak positive all you want, but if you don't truly feel it in your heart, you'll never get to where you're trying to go. And that's the reason why most people are not successful. They try to blame this, they try to blame that, they try to blame all these different things, but they never sit down with themselves and have a real conversation with themselves and say, listen, I can do it. Because the moment that you tell yourself, I can do it, your body, your mind start working in ways to figure out how to do it. See, that's where it starts off. And then guess what? There'll be hurdles and everything. No matter what company, no matter what you're doing, even if you start your own business, there will be hurdles to overcome. But what I love about network marketing is that I don't have to, to worry about building a, a multi-million dollar company. The company is already built for me. I just build my company inside of the company. And network marketing provides a great business opportunity, but like all businesses, it has challenges and pitfalls. Name one business that's not gonna be challenging. Because just think about it, right? If businesses wasn't challenging, we can agree that there will be more business owners out here today. 
But why are most people scared of business? Because they know that there will be challenges and there will be pitfalls. So it's kind of like the unknown. Most people, they don't like going into the unknown. They only like doing the known, which is what? Go to school, go get a job, work for 40 years, because guess what? They don't have to worry about the challenges for that business because the business owner have to worry about keeping the lights on every single day. They don't have the problems that the business owner have. All they got to do is show up, clock in, sit on the clock for eight hours, eat some food, watch social media all day and clock out and go home and receive a check every two weeks. What is challenging about that? But at the same time, just think about the business owner that have to sacrifice and go through all of these different things to keep that business in business. At the end of the day, who lives a better lifestyle? Who has more money coming in? The business owner or the employee? See, my goal is by the time my son is 18 years old, I want to leave him $10 million. $10 million. I got 14 years left to go before I save my son $10 million. That's my goal. I told my mom that goal yesterday and she couldn't believe it. And I'm like, I just told you because I, because when I do become a multi-millionaire, I don't want you to be surprised. See, I'm not scared to tell people that I'll be a millionaire. Do you understand my mom looking at me crazy? She always said to me like this, boy, whatever, because my goals are so big that people around me don't even believe it. They don't even believe it, but I believe it. I'm looking at them. Like you're crazy, but they're looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm crazy for believing that one day I can become a millionaire and do all the things that I said I'm going to do. I was having a conversation with my mom. She said, you need to stop traveling so much. Every two weeks you're on the road. Every week you're on the road. You always, you need to just sit, sit down and get situated. I'm like, for what? So that when I turn 70, 60 years old, I can look back on my life and regret that I didn't travel. I didn't build businesses and I didn't see the world. No, I'll continue to do what I want to do. And that's the difference between me and most people that I don't listen to people that don't have what I want. I don't even care if you're my mother. Because if I, I told my mother, if I listened to you, I wouldn't be where I'm at in life today. And most people wouldn't tell their parents that. I told her, if I listened to you, I would not be far in life today. I love you as a mother. When, they, when you want to tell me about how to cook, I'll listen to you. But when it comes to getting this money, I'm not listening to nothing you got to say because you don't know how to make it. Well, not at least the way I like it being made. And what I did, I pulled out racks full of hundreds in front of her face. She had nothing else to say because she never seen that type of money before. See, when people talk to me, they come a different way because you can't come to me with the BS because I believe in myself and I put in the work over these past eight plus years, building a business and put in a sacrifice, put my money up and took most of the risks, went through all of the challenges. And I'm not going to go through all of that for somebody to tell me that I can't achieve the lifestyle that I plan to have for me and my son. And I don't care who you are. Nobody will stop me from getting to where I need to go. And that's the same type of energy that you on this call need to have about your goals. Stop letting people talk down on your goals. Stop letting people tell you that you can't achieve what you want to achieve. Because I promise you, everyone that tried to talk me out of the business today, they either don't talk to me today or just watch me on social media. Because everything that I said I was going to do, I've either done it or I'm going to do it. I have family members. They walk past me all the time when I'm at my cousins in them house, my aunt house. They don't speak to me. But when I get on Instagram and I look at my story, they're all watching me. Do you know how it feels to have people that don't even speak to you, but they watch everything that you do? Because guess what? You are a motivating factor to them. You got to think about it. You know how many people that's motivated by you, but they won't even tell you? They'll just watch you. They'll just watch you. It's the most mind blowing thing today. Like after this call today, I'm gonna to go to my own house and I'm gonna see my same cousins that don't speak to me. But every time I make a post on Instagram, they're under my stories. They don't like any pictures, but they watch everything that I do. So guess what I do? I give you a movie. You keep watching me, it's a life. This is gonna be a nice thing about it. Everybody that been watching for me to fail, Oh, just keep watching because I'm going to keep on winning. I will never let anybody get the satisfaction that say that I gave up on my goals. Never. It's get rich or die trying.
and is nobody going to stop me from getting where I need to go. I don't care what I got to do. Sometimes you might got to take five steps back to get 10 steps ahead. You might got to take some time back to get your life in order to get to where you need to go. But guess what? The marathon still continues. I never quit working on my goals. I never quit working on my businesses. See, when people can't watch everything that you do or don't know everything that you do, they think you ain't doing nothing. But I tell them all the time, as long as you're watching, I'm going to give you a show. And the show is going to be success, 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 and more success. And guess what? Everyone on this call, you should have this same type of posture. I don't care if you're selling hot dogs on the side of the road. You should feel the same way about yourself and your business. Because every business takes time, energy, and money to build that business. If you don't put any time into that business, it will never grow. You don't put any energy into that business, it will never grow. And if you don't put no money back into the business, you can guarantee yourself that it will never grow. Think about it like this, right? Let's say you go to Home Depot, you buy a plant. You spend no time, you know, with the plant. You spend no energy, you know, picking off the, the bad leaves and the bugs and things like that. And then you pour no water into it. What do you think is going to happen to that plant? It's going to dry up and it's going to die. And guess what? It's the same with your business. Keep on not putting time, energy, and money into your business and see how long you have a business. Because when I look around, the reason why most people today are complaining about their business because they didn't really put any time, energy, and money. Some people got lucky. Some people got that one leg of business that blew them up and they thought it was going to be like that forever. You got to go into this with the knowledge in your mind and treat it like a business, not a hobby. If you treat it like a hobby, guess what? You'll get paid like a hobby. And how many people, you know, make money through their hobbies? I wait. How many people, you know, make money from their hobbies? Because I know most hobbies don't make you money. It costs you money. And for, the, for people that do this business as a hobby, it's cost you more money being in a business than you actually making. You got a nonprofit organization. I'm in a profit organization. I don't know about you. I came in this business to make profit. Change your mind, you'll change your life. Make a commitment and your chances of success will increase. Just be committed. Just be committed for one thing. Be Listen, I understand you can't be committed for everything, but why would you not want to be committed to yourself? See, I understand relationships don't work. Marriages don't work. You know, it's hard to be committed in this world today, but you can't be committed to yourself. You can't com be committed to doing the things that you said you're going to do long time after you don't feel like doing it no more. Do you think I feel like traveling all the time? No, but if I'm not, on the road, networking, building businesses. My business partner is hosting a big event next week. You know, guess what I got to do? I got to be there to support him. Because when he make money, I make money. So when people see me traveling and things like that, you got to understand that the place that I'm traveling, I have money invested there. If you don't go check on your money, what is going to happen to it? You don't go check on your peoples. You don't go hang with your peoples. You don't see your peoples that's making you money. You're making money with them. Do you think they're going to be around for a long time? No. I have real relationships with the people I'm making money with. Because we're in this together. Network marketing is a numbers game. And we understand that, listen, we're not playing numbers. We're not going to be in business. But guess what we do every day? We share the business. You got to share the business. You are a business. When people talk to you, if people don't believe everything that you're saying about your business when you speak to them, then you don't believe in your business long enough because I know when I open my mouth and I talk to someone, they want to know what I do. I told you last week about the guy that tried to recruit me in Target. But now he really want to be on my team because he figured out, man, like this guy really knows what I'm doing. Yes, I know what you're doing. You're an amateur because you don't just walk up to somebody in Target and just start throwing up your opportunity on them. No, you get that phone number, you build that rapport, you schedule a meeting, and it's a system. See, most of the time, like I tell people all the time, the reason why things are not working because it's all based up on what you're doing and it's not the system. Let's say, yes, you might've got somebody by just doing it your way, but is your way duplicatable? Can you teach someone how to do it your way? 
Can you teach someone whatever you did? Can you duplicate it? And if you can't, then don't do it. I tell people this all the time. There's many different things I can do that might can work for me, but can it work for everyone else? And if it cannot work for everyone else in my team, I don't promote it. That's why I'm a simple guy. When people think of me, I'm a simple guy. I love nice, fancy things, but I realize that if I start doing a lot of those things, then people are going to feel as though they got to have those things. So guess what they're going to do? Keep it super simple. I keep my life super simple. And because I've done that, I'm telling you, my business have grew more in the past two years than in, in, the, in the past six. It's mind blowing. Because I never thought that I can do less work and make more money and have a, 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 a healthier, faster, more successful growing business than ever before because before COVID I knew about every RD promotion I knew about almost every ETL promotion that was going to happen I knew about almost everything now I don't even know my team it's so many new people starting up and the reason why I said I don't know them because these are people that sign up from all over the country They're, my team is using social media to build their business my team is meeting people in person. Now my team is also hosting their own training events. But guess who did that before? I did. I had my own training events. Everything that my team is doing now, I've done it before. That's why they're doing it now. And they know the success that come behind it. Because success leave clues. You got to understand that if you're thinking about what system to create, you got to understand that. Look in the mirror. You are the system. Whatever you do, good or bad, is going to duplicate. It's going to duplicate. Do you want to duplicate good things that's going to bring you income? Or you want to duplicate bad things that it's going to cost you income? So I tell myself all the time that, man, listen, I'm going to do what's super simple. And one of the things that I did was using dreams and goal setting to succeed at network marketing. This was my six year. You want to hear the secret? This was it right here. So instead of watching TV, I haven't owned a TV in what, like seven years? What I did was, I put my vision board over the TV. You ever had one of those thick vision boards? So instead of the TV screen, there was tape and a big vision board over the TV. So even if I cut the TV on, you can't see anything. So I turned off the TV and I turned on my life and I started putting vision boards all over the wall. Whenever you walk into my home, the bathroom, the everywhere, affirmations, affirmations all day, every day. Why? Because I believe in the power of the tongue. You speak great things, great things happen. I keep telling people it's the little things that matter, but you think it's the, it's the big things that matter. No, it's the little things that matter because within the network marketing industry, you will find them that a great deal of emphasis is placed on the dream. You always hear about the dream. You got to have a dream. You got to have a vision. You got to have a dream, right? Dreams are the foundation of all success, not only in network marketing, but all success, right? From there, most accomplishments, whether personal, sporting, political, or in business, starts with a dream. Big or small, dreams are what motivate us to take action. If you have no dreams, that's why you're not motivated to take actions. I don't care if you're 18 or if you're 80 years old, you still have enough time to dream. If you woke up this morning, you still have enough time to dream. What is your dreams? What is your dreams? I told you my dream when I got on a call. My dream is to leave my son $10 million by the time he turned 18 years old so that he can involve in businesses and expand in our enterprises. See, I already have goals for my son before he even think about what goals he want to do because guess what he's going to work for? The family business. What are your goals for your family? What are your goals for your children? Some people don't even have goals for their kids. They just want to send their kids off to college and hopefully they figure it out. How your kids will just figure it out? Most of the problem is that most people, they kick their kids out at 18 years old and your kid don't even know what to do because you never sat down with your kid and put these type of thoughts into your kid's mind. Listen, there's some kids at 18 years old, they're ready for the life. But the majority of the world, when kids are 18 years old, they're not ready for the world. They don't even know what they want to do. But guess what they do? You send your kid off, put him in 100K worth of debt and tell him, figure it out. Why not work hard enough so when you do get older that you can give your kids the option and they want to go to school? Great. If you want to start your business, whatever you want to do, we can do it. Wouldn't you not wish that 
you had that option growing up when you turned 18 years old that your parents set you up so that you now have the choice to do what you want to do and not something that you have to do? See, I don't know. I just think different. But it all starts with your dream and your goals. If you don't have no dreams, if you don't have no goals, you got to do something different. Today, go get you a journal and write in it. Put down your goals. Speak it. I'm telling you this because I'm telling you it works. I know for a fact that it works. I read it every day. I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a consistent basis. And every single day I make money. I write it down, I speak it, I listen to it non-stop. I'm telling you all of the secrets. And it might not sound like it works, but I promise you, it worked because I haven't worked a job in eight years. I'm not telling you that might like be for that for you, but wouldn't you not want that option? To just be your own boss, to travel, to see the world, to see what's out here? Because I know that I just came back from Miami, what, two days ago? And every time I go to that place, I'm like, man, I gotta be a millionaire. I gotta be, I gotta just be a multi-millionaire just to feel comfortable living here. Those are my goals. That might not be your goals, but I tell you all the time, if I'm put here on this earth to live a life of abundance, I want it all. I want it all that's for me. Not for anybody else, but I want it all for me. And I said to myself, I did not travel across the Atlantic Ocean at nine years old to come to America just to work a job. I could have stayed on that island and did the same thing. I came to America to become a multi-millionaire, build businesses and leave generational wealth to my future generation. Because no one in my family stepped up and said that I'm gonna be that person for our family. So guess who's gonna be the one? Me, I'm gonna be the one. And to end, Hold on. For example, right? Ask, ask a child if they have any dreams for the future. Teenager, right? If they would do, if they, if time and money were not an object, if time and money wasn't an object, we can agree that people will have all kinds of dreams. But the reason why most people don't have dreams is because after a while, you realize that your income and your dreams kind of don't match up. You want to do this, but you're not making the month. So it's like, uh, so guess what you stop doing? You stop dreaming. So they will have no problems in sharing their dream with you. And more importantly, they will believe it is possible, right? So everyone is born to a dream and everyone has been given the ability to achieve their dream. Yet, as we get older and mature a bit, many of us lose sight of our dreams. Unfortunately, as we go along, too many of us realize that our incomes do not match our dreams. And that's the biggest problem right there. And to end the story real quick, I want to tell you a quick story, right? So successful people understand that they need to be around, that they need to surround themselves with their dreams, immerse themselves in it, and imagine they are already living in it. Behind the success of many Olympic gold medalists are countless stories telling how they will surround themselves uh, with the vision of winning a gold medal long before it became a reality. One athlete had practically everything in her home either painted or wrapped in gold. Whatever household items she could buy in gold um, to place an existing one, she did. Her bed sheets, towels, toothbrushes, soap, hand brushes, hair brushes, you can name it. She even had a gold medal and a ribbon painted on her mirror so that every time she stood in front of the mirror, she saw herself wearing a gold medal. She completely surrounded herself with her dream and the results a gold medal at the Olympics. This will happen when I wrote my vision goals. I put it on the board. You know, I told myself, man, I need to get my credit score back up. Credit score A1 again. I need to get my life back. Life is back in order again. Everything that I said to myself, I put it in front of me. I wrote it down and I seen it every single day. And guess what happened now? It's my life. So throughout the roller coaster, throughout the journey, no matter what, as long as you hold the bar down, you're going to get to where you're trying to go. So that's my whole entire message for today. You got to put it in front of you. You got to go out there and believe in yourself. When people think I'm just taking trips just to take trips, no. It's my vision board, but I have to live in it. If I said I want to live somewhere, I need to be there. I need to, I need to feel as though, man, this is my second home. Because before you know it, guess what's going to happen? It's going to be your second home because it's all about what you speak. And the faith was me actually, go, I've been to Miami every single month this year, probably twice. Why? It's my goal to be there. 
and I'm crazy enough to invest in myself, to put myself in the places and an environment that I want to be a part of. So I thank you guys again. Hopefully you guys were able to get something out of today. Um, and I look forward to being back next week and I'll pass the call back on to Mr. Thomas.